<laughs> but this article should make every one of us angry, particularly those of us who are dedicated to sustainability. And for those of us who would really like a law enforcement uh, community in the United States that doesn't think that um, they should be people with sticks just because they say stop shooting unarmed people. Uh, but here's the nexus of uh, environmental justice and civil justice like this, because um, The Guardian has an article about an investigation done by the Public Accountability Initiative. And it's revealing that some of our favorite oil giants that you know and love and have witnessed them polluting all over our country are also funding police foundations, including sitting on the boards of things like the, the Detroit Police Foundation. So we've got um, donations in the tune of, to the tune of millions by Chevron, Shell, Marathon Petroleum. Same people who are poisoning water in, on Native American reservations, dumping um, their, their waste in the communities of color, are also funding police foundations where some of the most egregious attitudes towards nonviolent tactics and dealing with unarmed people and the worst attitudes towards respecting and following orders by their civilian leadership. Um, as I pay full attention to what Police Benevolent Association uh, members say on, on media about the people telling them to just kind of, I don't know, cut it out with the uh, kidnappings of people protesting peacefully. So if there Are is you anything, sure what these fine <laughs> upstanding admirable fossil fuel owners are are funding violence. I just I don't believe it. I, I don't these people work so I hard crush to crush your head. I crush your head. <laughs> I mean, my, look, my sarcasm is dripping, dripping. I mean, you have Exelon here, Chicagoans, Exelon. They had to pay $20 million over 50 years, which you know is not enough for the pollution mm -hmm. in Chesapeake Bay. People, they donate to pol police foundations all over the Midwest, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Chicago, Washington. And then, of course, everyone's favorite bank, Wells Fargo. Ugh. Yeah, so it's that was just me. a Ugh. who's who. Yeah, it's a who's who of really shitty organizations and shitty people melted together, handing out money to where you have police officers being trained with warrior training or force science institute training, which literally teaches them that at no point on their job are they safe from anyone who isn't a cop, whether they're running away, unarmed underage or what have you it increases the paranoia of officers it teaches them to be above the law every single 70s cop show and movie of a loose cannon cop who doesn't follow the rules is what we have now en masse and it is a very dangerous situation for any democracy especially a democracy like ours where a lot of what we think is codified into law is actually more of a gentleman's agreement in democracy and we have elected a lot of non-gentlemen and we've put a lot of non-gentlemen on the streets with the, the badge and the gun and uh, we got a little problem. And so for all these companies to be funding it, what the fuck you guys? So if there is ever a reason for you to go solar, have an electric car, do what you can for sustainability to cut these people off. Of the fucking... <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna say and... what I, was gonna say. Yeah. I think you did it very elegantly, Georgia. I would have yeah. just been franty and people would have turned me out like 30 seconds into it. But I highly recommend you go to the guardian and read through the guardians article on this and then click the link and go to that is the Public Accountability Initiative, and take a look at that and see, are you banking at Wells Fargo? Do you actually have an account with any of these, um, these energy companies? What can you do? Because you might be able to, as a consumer, affect them more directly than, but just knowing 
that your money is going to fund things that you disagree with, that should put a little fire in your pants to make you do something. All right, and I'm, I'm done because I can't look at it anymore. Yeah, so it's I've almost like the, the uh, drilled podcast uh, on here a couple times before, and this yeah. is another yeah. example. They have talked about how these organizations, fossil fuel industry, they are funneling money through shell companies and nonprofits, and then they are using that to fund disinformation campaigns. And part of the funding to the police, is my understanding from this, is that it is also talking about any group that is uh, an environmental group as eco-terrorists and how the police yeah. need to be, uh, uh, here's how to taser a hippie. Um, <laughs> and here's the taser to do it. We're funding it. And they're, so just like they're poisoning our air, they're poisoning the water, they're poisoning minds with their propaganda. They are not good neighbors. Yep. And then if you're in one of the disadvantaged communities already, now there's somebody to come shoot and beat you to <laughs> take care of the rest of what's left of you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the disadvantaged communities are certainly where a lot of the pollution happens. Uh, you're certainly not going to build a coal plant in the backyard of a rich neighborhood. They have too much political power to stop that. And so it's disadvantaged the communities. Route where the, through the through Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the and diesel why? buses. Uh, and and uh, uh, again, yeah. well, uh, someone else who's been on the show was uh, recently posted a refinery from their house. They can see them spewing out pollution all day. And why does Chevron, of all companies, need to be a corporate sponsor of the New Orleans police and a board member of the Houston Police Foundation and board of the Salt Lake City Police Foundation? I mean, Shell is um, on the New Orleans Police Foundation and a sponsor of Houston's police mounted patrol. I, I bet you if you look at where the refineries money. are. Yeah, if you look yeah, at where the refineries if, are, if there's going to be a relationship. Like, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to speak on this as, a, some, as somebody who's worked in government. And one of the biggest issues right now currently affecting us via elections is we are looking to make sure that people elect DAs who promise not to take police money. Um, police foundations, police union money, PBAs. The reason why you don't get DAs really targeting the police when police commit crimes and you have things like test a lying, which is when police sit on the stand and actually lie on the record about a case, the evidence clearly points out that the police are lying and they get up, go home, and they have a dinner. Because a lot of times if a DA or a judge is elected and they're getting money from these police foundations, why can't we take Trump out because why can't you perp what bar? Well, when you own the, ju the judiciary and when you own the executive branch and half the legislative branch of Congress, you kind of get to do whatever the hell it is you want unless until there's a clear mandate to get rid of you. And that's not just Twitter. It's not just protests. It really legally is supposed to be the vote. Now we'll see what happens. That hap the micro and the macro are like this they do mirror each other. And when these companies are able to sit on the boards and they are able to talk to their buddies on the boards, which they go out and make golf with and they have dinners and they share money. And then that money trickles into judiciary races. It trickles into city council races. It trickles into DA races. All seats are important in an election. And they figured that out a long time ago. We're just waking up to it. So they buy minimal suits when they are found out to, I don't know, pg and &E. How many people did they kill in San Francisco with their negligence and they're still doing it? Didn't they just destroy a town, oh, I don't know, a year ago or more? And yet, what do they walk away with? Maybe a 100 million, 50 million in damages. No executive ever goes to jail and they never pay the full amount of restitution that they owe. What is a life worth? There is not one damn dime a company has made that can pay back for both the, in the, the allowance of police brutality and death in communities and the absolute destruction of our environment and the destruction of our infrastructure and homes and people because they could not spend the money to update. They were too busy getting themselves bonuses for being great executives. 
I'm going to point out that we use the word police sponsorship. They get the lion's share of every municipality budget. Why do they need fucking sponsors like NASCAR?